Christmas Island is the tip of an extinct volcano. It emerges from the edge of the Java Trench some 3,000 metres deep. A narrow fringing reef surrounds the island and beyond that the water plunges to unimaginable depths. The corals in the shallower waters depend on sunlight and the deep water upwellings that supply rich nutrients. This environment provides a home to millions of reef dwelling fish and in the deeper water large pelagics and trevally can be found very close to the shore. This very special marine environment is a magnet for divers and snorkelers alike and there are also coastal caves to be explored. A shore dive and flying fish cove will provide an excellent introduction to the many species of sea life to be found around the island. But diving the best coral gardens, coastal caves and walls should only be undertaken with a local dive operator. They know the best spots and when the conditions are right for those sites. Also, knowing the waters, they can give you safe encounters with dolphins that often play around the boat or some of the larger pelagics if you're lucky enough to come across them. The first thing you'll notice on entering the clear water is that the corals are so much larger than you would expect and they're so diverse and in such pristine condition. The reasons for this are that they are not trawled by fishing boats, not subjected to landborne pollution and they're not overdived. Also, as they're not overfished, the coral reefs are in perfect balance with the reef fish they support, who eat the algae to keep them healthy. Various creatures such as eels, sea cucumbers and clams have made their home here. The corals extend from the shoreline to the edge of the drop-off at different slopes of inclination. Some look like miniature underwater cities with domes and minarets. The action of the sea and rainwater over thousands of years has created a number of partially and fully submerged coastal limestone caves. The submerged entrance provides a great backdrop silhouetting divers with a deep blue. The submerged walls and ceiling of the cave are covered with colourful life and there are chambers inside that are open to the air with magnificent stalagmites and stalactites. Outside close by, in a smaller cave under the coral, three lionfish were quietly whiling away the afternoon hours as we swam by. Not only is there a vast number of fish species to be found around Christmas Island, but there are also a large number of variants of each. For example, you'll find the distinct raccoon butterfly fish, but you'll also find the Myers, the chevron, maybe one or two pyramid butterfly fish, but more likely you'll find hundreds of them. There are many representatives of the wrasse family, including the bird-nose wrasse. Some fish, such as these Indian Ocean triggers, tolerate divers quite well, as they're mainly focused on eating algae from the reef, whereas others of the same family, the gilded trigger and particularly the giant trigger, are much more shy. You'll find the long-nosed unicorn fish and many from the same family, such as this powder blue surgeon fish. There are regal angelfish and lazy blue angelfish, goatfish, and if you look carefully, such as behind this feather starfish, you might find another fish hiding. No reef is complete without the clownfish, which are very dark red around Christmas Island. The unique geography of Christmas Island means that there are plenty of vertical seawalls to explore, some commencing at just a few metres below the surface. This spot, called perpendicular wall, for obvious reasons, is home to such a great diversity of fans it resembles an underwater forest. It's usually teeming with fusiliers. In another area of the wall, some coral sand has cascaded down, probably during a storm, and given the landscape a dusting like snow. Experienced divers might identify the cleaning stations in the coral gardens where larger fish, such as this peacock rock cod, will lie quietly whilst it's carefully being cleaned by the busy cleaning rasts darting around it. Some of the larger fish, including these coral rock cod, make great subjects for underwater photographers. Likewise this oriental sweet lips, as they are often to be found below an overhang and stay put if approached very slowly. Trevallis too are reasonably tolerant of divers, who they much prefer to fishermen. The slow moving sea stars such as this crown of thorns make great subjects for beginner photographers. 
The visibility is so good that even from the surface you can often see schools of reef sharks circling at about 30 metres below. When you're in the water, you may be approached by spinner dolphins as they are often attracted to the dive boat. And, if serendipity is shining on you that day, you may be approached by something a little larger. In fact, the largest existent fish species on the planet, that gentlest of giants, the whale shark. It's a humbling encounter and one that you will treasure for a lifetime. A reminder of the very special marine environment that can only be found at Christmas Island. For more information about diving on Christmas Island, visit the website christmas.net.au